All right, so before we jump out of here, let's just double check to see if there's nothing else we can do in this room. Because, all right, I'm not seeing anything, so let's just get out of here. On to the next puzzle! And now I, it is an actual, it is actually a pain to jump out of here, actually. Just saying. You know, I could just jump out the other way. Yeah, I could just jump out that way. All right, let me think. Where am I trying to get to right now? Hmm. You know what, I'm just gonna let them kill me just to get my bearings back. Uh, I need to figure out how to get around Mr. Dumbbird. I hit you. Okay, so there's a ladder there. Okay, so when I hit all the switches, I can get to the ladder and then get to the chest behind the bird. I need to hit that green button to be able to drop down here and then hit that switch. There's gotta be a way into that room, into that little nugget from up top. There's like a sleeping critter over there that I need to wake up and then lure over. <laughs> Just my two cents. Oh, I never went to the left over there. Okay, maybe that's the secret. And I went this way. Jeez. All right, all right, I think it's just gonna take me straight up there. Almost. All right, got a little puzzle here. Oh my God! Come on, that would've been perfect. That was perfect, yes! All right, that was extremely easy. Scary, but extremely easy. All right, so the last button is directly down there. I could probably get up there from the fast travel room because I could just barely see a route. Okay, so let's look. All right, we're gonna head down to the fast travel. Probably save the game while we're at it. Where's the save point again? Oh, the save point's higher up. Okay. But there's... Alright, 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 alright. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice this at all, so that's how we get up here. Perfect. Such a fun game! Oh my god, not you again! That was freaking easy. Yeah, no, that was just ex extremely easy. I need to go that way. Bubble wand ready. Perfect. We did all this just to get. Da -da 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 -da, we got the lantern. Okay, so what kind of ability is this? All right, it is a. 
Alright, it is an active skill. Yeah! Oh, this is gonna make things so much nicer for the dark areas. Ouch! And you hit me anyway, because you're a jerk. Alright, so now we need to go, um... We're going down there. And then we can scare all these freaking, uh... Gas creatures away. That's how we're meant to get through them. Love it. Oh, I love this so effing much. Easy enough. Haha, <laughs> I'm the best. Oh, even just clicking to it will automatically activate it. That's nice. Oh, I need the yo-yo for this, okay. Perfectly easy. There's just a lot of things happening around here. <gasps> oh, I don't like that sound. <sighs> oh. Good. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, my goodness! <sighs> <laughs> Fantastic. Not reactivated apparently, but if we click on the button. Come on. Dude, I know you can hit that. Uh, I don't understand how this thing works sometimes. Alright. Alright, that's one switch activated. Nice. Terrifying. God, what's happening? I'm trapped. Okay, good, I can go over here. Cool.
Good. Okay, that thing stays activated permanently. That's great. The more things we permanently activate, the better. Yeah, just get away from me. Good. Good. I'm glad I have, like, a fair window to avoid you. What if I throw a firework? Good. Good. Alright. Alright, we're making progress. We're making progress. It's a lot less scary when you know you're making progress. Alright, this feels safe. Uh, I'll let my slinky stay here. That's how I get over here, perfect. Screw you, sucker, screw you. Perfect. Uh, so what? Is it down here? That just opened. Alright, good. I need a firecracker. Oh, I, I can't pick up another firecracker. Okay, cause I already got enough. Squirrel friend, save me! Squirrel friend, the time has come for you to be relevant. Save me. Frick. Dynamite time, baby. Dynamite time. Okay. Okay, did I banish you to the the firework realm? That's that's why we're getting fireworks as a common weapon, because we're banishing these monsters to the firework realm. That that was it! That was the final boss! That was so easy! God, like the freaking dog ghost was so much worse than that. It seems like there's some platforming I can do up there, but I can't use any of my items now. <clears throat> Alright. I'm glad that didn't really last that long. But, um, I love this game. It was very, very beautiful, simplistic, and, but extremely fun. It was, it's really, it was really fun to find secrets. It's a shame I didn't find all of them, but I'm pretty satisfied. Oh, now I can let my little guy sleep. <laughs> um, I do know that there were like five different kangaroos to find, and you needed three fireworks to defeat each of them, but that just seems like tedious work. And I only found two of them, but I couldn't seem to get them to respawn again. Hey, the, uh, hey there's a Jared who worked on this. Uh, didn't find all the eggs either, and I'm not going to worry about finding all the matches. I'm just uh, satisfied with how this went. This was a really fun game. Oh, now I'm free to use my stuff again. Okay. So the game's not really quite ending. Okay. There's a locked door. So I wonder how he opened this locked door. Maybe we need to, like... Where am I? Do we need to, like, find all the kangaroos to open that? Do we need all the eggs to open that? Or the, the treasure that's behind the, uh, the match gate? Where am I now? Okay, this is where I chase the bunny, so I'm just free to keep exploring the game if I want. Okay. Okay, it is a secret room, okay. Another 
chest. A, another bubble wand. Ooh, I could just make infinite bubbles to platform off of. That's a serious upgrade. So now I can go almost anywhere. So the question is, how do we destroy this? I feel like this in this involves the flute, and there's some kind of code I have to do. So I'm just gonna look this up real quick. Let's see if I can do anything with the flute here. And they'll probably get to you like another super upgrade. Spoiler, I found the room with the skulls. Okay, so there was a consequence to dying. I was almost... I was even a little worried about that. Basically... The number of skulls here increases every time you die. In fact, I think I survived just enough to where I can get up here and collect this upgrade. In fact, it actually, it actually seems like you need to die a handful of times to be able to get this upgrade because you won't be able to cross these vines with the other, with the powers. But I need to get through the game without dying a single time, and that's going to be a match which will allow you to complete the, the candle quest and get whatever that secret is. So, we're obviously not doing that. Nope. <laughs> Leave it to Metroidvanias to have an unreasonable challenge like that, let me tell you. Um, I'm just gonna look up how to open this, too. No, yeah, we're dedicating the rest of this part to me looking up whatever the last secrets are. I'm going to see how to unlock all endings. Uh, first ending, rolling the credits. Which is, I assume, the one we just got. This is the standard ending. Wait, 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 is that a key over there? <laughs> I'm an idiot! Okay! Well, I'll, I'll hold off on any more spoilers. Well, that was just the easiest solution ever. Okay, this looks neat. A save point. Okay, okay, looks like we're just not done yet. Good. This is fun. This is interesting. 
closet. An F pack. Okay, that's in the down left there. That's weird. I just wonder what that can do. Clock door. Oh, that's a big old clock. A stopwatch. Well, is this a new power? No, it's not a power. We still have space for one more ability, which is interesting. Nothing that way. What's that? It's some kind of 3D donut. Odd. Huh? Thought I could just examine something. Okay, maybe not. Oh, hello there. Well, now I need to put my super bubble wand to use. Okay, I, I, did, I thought you'd get stopped by that wall there, but sure. I didn't really mean to use that. Stopwatch. Like, it's not anywhere in my inventory. Or is it, is it, that, is it that thing down beside the key? How do I use it? look up what the stopwatch is supposed to do. Oh, that's all it does. It just displays the current run time when pausing the game. Hmm. And I bet this is relevant to these doors or something. Okay, so this is a speedrun thing. Of course it is. So, like, the latest time would have been five hours for one of these doors. So, like, one door opens... Well, well, stays open within 30 minutes, one stays open within 90 minutes, and the other within 5 hours. But as you can see, I am well past 5 hours. Shame that. So, ultimately, that does nothing. But what does this do? How does one bypass you, Mr. Dumbbird? Oh! 
Oh, oh, you can just make the bird go away with this lantern. Well, that answers that question. I was wondering if there's any secrets up there now. Nothing I can see. All right, down we go. Wait, I just looped back around! Well, that explains how to get up there, I guess. I should've... So I should've effing held right. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to die, and then quickly restart up there. I can carry more firecrackers! Well, that's good. I guess I could do that stupid kangaroo quest if I want to. But I am just going to die real fast. You know, since I got all these, I'm just going to look up where the kangaroos are. God, these websites are just such trash. Okay, do we have the E metal? I feel like we got something like that. So, we need to go to the lower left quadrant where we fought the seahorse. Oh, yeah, I can see that little nugget on the map there. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the fast travel room we go! I should heal myself, yeah. Mr. Ostrich, or should I say Mrs. Ostrich? You're probably a mother, I don't know. Might as well just do what I can in this game, since we've got plenty of video time left, and I won't do it on Discord yet, I hope. No, this isn't really close at all. Yeah, honestly, getting back there is looking like a bit of a chore. But I am curious, my adventurousness urges are taking precedence. So we are going straight down to the underbelly of the earth.
and then I find you. Hmm. I'll just save here real quick. Well, now that I know I can, what to do with you, let's find out where you take me. Did not want to come here, but thankfully there's, uh, hopefully an easy way to die up there. Not really an easy way to die, is it? Maybe I can just do this instead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I had this infinite bubbles now, why am I not using it, right? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. But that ends up to the skull counter. Who cares? Shortcuts, baby. Freaking effing shortcuts, baby. Hey, it's my good friend, Whaley. Actually, I, now in this room, I should just use the, the disc. Should I try again with this thing? Since I came all the way here. Hmm. Let me look that up. Chest on spike floor. So there's another item. So the cat, the bobcat. So the cat, the cats that were in the other dungeon. Uh, like, I need to free them with special, with the flute, and then bring them to their mother. Which is just... God, this is... These, these quests, though. Alright, well now I see how I, I would miss that secret if I'm more focused on trying to get to this piece of garbage. So I gotta be careful not to fall into your mouth. Good, alright. Well, I'm in here now. I cannot frickin' see what I'm equipping. Okay, what I what do I need to do in here now?
So something about using the E-metal in here. And it, is, it does say it's above the fish head. There's nothing I can do in here. Maybe I don't even have the E-metal. The E-metal is from lighting all the candles. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Alright, well... This is starting to fall really into time-wasting territory. Lots of tedious... I mean, they're interesting sounding quests, but way too tedious for my patience right now. So I think I'm just gonna take the victory while I have it. Uh, so let me just... Quickly look up the all kangaroos. Now my and now my computer is glitching because these websites suck. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that room. So you're gonna get cage shards. You get cage shards from defeating the kangaroos. You bring them to the kangaroo statue room. something, whatever. Alright. Well, I'm sure I'll probably discover what all these mean when I watch playthroughs of the game, but as far as, uh, as, far as I go, um, I'm satisfied with what I have now. I don't want to, I don't want to stress over these remaining things that I can't even do without second playthroughs or whatever. But, just fun game. Really cle I loved all the clever secrets. I loved playing with the different abilities. And this was just a, a good time overall. So yeah. Laters.